Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower and I'm going to go out and I wanted to show you guys what I do when I'm kind of in a hurry and I want kind of a fun look but don't have enough time to sit here with all that blending. So I'm going to do kind of like a neutral look with a little bit of pop of green. I'm thinking maybe blue. I'm thinking green. But um, hope you guys like it. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Okay guys, so I'm kind of first time actually going to do both eyes. I'll probably edit it out, but here we go. I'm first going to start, um, which I haven't really done yet. Oh my gosh, I'm running so far behind. I'm going to put on some face primer. This is one I got in a birch box, so I'm still kind of trying out. It's the Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer in Bronze. So I don't know if you guys get birch box or not, and that's not going to focus, but so we're going to do some kind of Throw that all over. Okay. And then what I'm going to do while I'm already priming is I'm going to put some Urban Decay Primer Potion on these eyelids. Whoa, someone went over on her lashes. I'm going to first start off doing, I'm going to use a big brush. Can you see? There we are. Big brush like that. Okay, so I'm just going to take this through. I think this is grain is actually what I use, but it's a color that is just... Um, close to my skin. I'm just going to sweep that completely over just to make kind of like a nice base and what fucking shit is in my eyelashes. Okay. Okay. Moving over to the Urban Decay Naked Palette. Taking my fluffy brush, going into naked, putting it in my crease, starting with a lighter brown. Sweepy, sweepy, sweepy just so it puts some definition into my lid. And then I'm going to go into the back and so just kind of putting it back over. Concentrate more into the center, not like blending it up at all. Sweep, sweep, sweep. So now we have that. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to take a more stiff brush, but I can't really fucking find it. Stiff brush, where are you? That sounds so sexual. Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm going to sweep it into virgin. And I'm just going to put it on my lid. And kind of make it look like a pretend cut crease. I'm also going to put some of that virgin right under. My, so I got that. I'm going to take my stiff angle brush. Can you all see that? Probably not. But I'm going to take just a dark brown eyeshadow. Um, I don't know what the one is called. I'm going to just define these eyebrows. Okay, so now I have the tops of my eyelids, my eyebrows. Can you fucking see? You can. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do now, <clears throat> I'm going to start with, these are both Urban Decay 24-7 pencils. I'm going to start with the black one, which I don't, this one's perversion, so I don't know if this is technically black, because I thought the black one was zero, but what are you going to do? Use it anyway. That's what I'm going to do. Pull your lid. Like, get that on there, but not anything crazy exact. And then I'm going to take my smudger brush. Oh my god, there's a crane on it. Maybe stop for a little while. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start smudging. I got that a little too high because I'm out of control, so I'm just going to put more virgin on there. Smudgy, smudgy, smudge. So we kind of have like no defined line of the eyeliner whatsoever. I'm going to tight line underneath. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another one. This one is in Junkie. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that underneath, which I already think I have some. A green color, a green shadow, and I'm going to use Water Nymph, I think is how you pronounce it, and Frost. It's a matte color. It's right there, my dolines. And I'm going to grab that smudger brush just because that's just what I have and I'm going to pack that right on top of 
that line. Okay, and then I'm going to take that and I'm just going to kind of sweep it into the top a little bit. We're going to waterline this. Okay, I'm going to grab some black shadow, and I'm just going to pack that right on top of um, where I put that black liner. I'm going to use a little angle brush. Okay, so this is what we got, like kind of a rough, like, thing. And I'm going to take, um, where did the smudger brush go, people? I found it, I found it. I'm going to take a little bit of black, have it, because I want it darker on the outside than on the inside. You know, I may just take, fuck it, I'm just going to take the pencil and kind of, Okay, and that's basically it. Other than digging, like, maybe take your smudger brush and kind of make it softer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my eyelashes, put some mascara on, contemplate whether I want to put fake ones on, but I, I don't really think I have that much time to. Okay, so I put my, curl my lashes, put some mascara on, and I actually put on a couple of these. A few of these just to give me, like, you know, a little bit more oomph to it. And I am incredibly red today. And I think, I don't know, maybe it's the wine. I don't, fuck, I don't know, but I'm flushed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, take this NYX. Um, I don't know what it's called, like green something. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over where I'm really red. I'm going to take that Revlon color stay like I normally do, trusty Revlon, and just put my foundation on over. A brush that I don't know what it's called, but it looks like this. So now we have our foundation on. I'm going to take my Revlon Photo Ready Powder, my big brush, pat that on there. Oh shit, I forgot concealer. Ugh, what time is it? Okay, I'm gonna pop some concealer on. No, I'm not. My uh, things on it. You know what? This is totally lighter than my color. I'm gonna attempt to rock this color right now. Actually, when I use my bronzer, I use the, what is it, a Bare Minerals brush, the one that they use, like, for the complete foundation. I like because... I'm going to take, um, that fluffy brush, take a little bit of the bronzer, put it right here. my blush real quick same thing smile soft and gentle mineral skin finish just at the tops of these cheekbones down the nose and then and take that fluffy brush again tap 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 right when you look like you actually have some lips on you you know, I'm just going to get, it's just like pure shimmer. What I'm going to do is I normally use my finger. Just because I'm going out, I want to like amp up that shimmer look on my cheekbones. Okay, now what do we have? Lips, huh? I'm really just <laughs> going to use this CoverGirl lipstick in like a pink. It's a gloss. It's literally almost done. Like I can't screw that up anymore. Put that on. I'm going to use, oh my gosh, I used to use this all through high school. It's the Victoria's Secret lip gloss. You know you girls know what I'm talking about. 
It didn't let you use, wear a lot of makeup when you went to Catholic school, which I went to Catholic school. But they let us wear this. And that's my look. Face is done. I'm going to go do some hair real quick. And I'll be back. Okay, so I just got done doing my hair. And this is the look. I just like curled my hair, back combed it a little bit. Got my eyes. Can you see? So that's my look. I'm probably just going to throw on some leggings and some heels and a blazer. Cute jewelry and we're good. Um, so if you guys like this look, please subscribe. I hope you guys like it. It's a really neutral where to work. Um, yeah, I always get nice compliments on it. So you guys will too, I'm sure. So hope you guys have a good night and I'm going to head to the bars. Bye.